Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thurman Solomon Scott Selections here for Tuesday, October 22nd. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in the NFL with Trent Simpson under three and a half solo tackles at minus 120 on DraftKings. Beat a massive line move. Line closed at minus 155. Didn't matter, though, as Simpson had a great first half. Felt like they just kept running at him. They ended up getting a bunch of tackles early. I believe he had four solos in the first half, so he lost pretty quickly. Then he had one in the entire second half. So point is, just a bit unlucky with how often he was involved early. Then he kind of reverted back to being what he had been for the last year and change. But that was a little bit too late as we get the loss. Look for a winner here on Tuesday. For the extra play, though, remember, once again, more plays on our website. Check out our website when you do. Use the promo code WEH4US25 to get a 25% discount. There's also inscription. Plus, reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the bell, so get notified every single episode. And for the actual play, the NBA It's officially starting. It is officially day one of the regular season. If you look at the late night game between the Timberwolves and the Lakers, taking place at around 10 p.m. Eastern time. After this game, we are going to go with a player prop. We're going to go with Anthony Davis under two and a half turnovers at minus 115 on DraftKings. Time recording of 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. Covers why we're going to go with the under two and a half turnovers for AD. First reason, minus 115 is a gift of a price by DraftKings. Same bets available at minus 140 on BetMGM, minus 140 on Bet365. DraftKings is off, compared to the rest of the market, by about 25 cents. So I'll jump on that before the line moves. And you're looking at Davis and his, his overall turnovers last season. He was pretty good with ball security. He recorded less than three turnovers in 54 of his 83 games played last season, and that is equivalent to 65% towards the under. Plus, he recorded less than three turnovers in 32 of his 44 home games last season, which is equivalent to 73%. So once again, 73% hit rate last year at home, and now the line's minus 115. That does suggest the line is a bit off. Now you're looking at his numbers against Minnesota last year, and they were pretty good when it comes to limiting turnovers. He had less than three turnovers in three of his four games against Minnesota last season. So despite Minnesota being an elite defensive team, uh, I thought that Davis did a pretty good job of actually not turning the ball over, and I do think that could be the case once again here on Tuesday. Plus, Timberwolves did have to make some adjustments defensively with the front court during the offseason. Of course, they traded away Cat for Julius Randle. We'll see what happens with the defense early in the season. I think it might struggle, at least building up chemistry. Point is, though, Randle's not exactly a great defensive player by any means, and Cat does... Uh, have some decent defensive qualities, not an amazing defender either. But I do think that based on the front court chemistry that Cat and Gobert had defensively last year, they might have to try to rebuild that with Randall. So it wouldn't shock me if Minnesota struggles early in the season against opposing centers. But you're looking at a spot once again where AD has had less than three uh, turnovers in three of the four games against Minnesota last year, went under this number in 73% of home games and 65% of games overall last season. Minus 115 is a great price compared to minus 140 in the rest of the market. I'll take it now before the line moves. Well, then once again, here for Tuesday, October 22nd, it's going to be on Anthony Davis under two and a half turnovers at minus 115 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.